All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'm the brother Amon. Shalom, this is Shamar. Right, you know we coming at a, you know coming back with another Lord willing edifying lesson. First and foremost, we give our honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, and Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Shalom to the holy like men that scattered abroad, pushing the truth with all sincerity. Right, and also shalom to those very few sincere sisters that's take actually taking heed and getting in order in these last days. Like I say, we come into with a video, you know, on article, right? And and you know, we bring out articles because why that actually helps us discern the times that we in, you know, for our salvation. You know, according to um Second Edges chapter nine, measuring the time. Get that real quick. Okay. This is uh Second Edges nine and one. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Second Edges nine and one, you break it down. Okay. Second Edges 9 1, it says, uh, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Right, and when you're measuring it, you're, when you just a simple Google definition of measuring, just you know, judging it, you know, giving it a close call because, like he stated to the um, to our disciples, you know, hey man, um, um, look at these signs, you know, and signs are key. And that's what we go off of. So even with articles coming out, those are signs for us to really navigate and tell us where we at bet before you, how we shall, you know. Come get us, you know, redeem us out of this, you know, this captivity, Lord, when we're part of that remnant. That's when beautiful. the first go wrong. That's beautiful, because I got a precept for you. I'll break it down. I don't know if you can. Come, come. Um, this is, uh, <clears throat> this is Matthew, uh, oh, uh might, have, might have did a miscalculation on that. <laughs> um, I know it's in Matthew. Just give me a sec. Go ahead, keep you're it. You're good, you're good. Um, I mean, keep uh, talking. You're good. Until you're, I can talk. Um, I, I'll hit it up on this one quick. Um, this is Revelation 9 to 1 again. It's just he answered me then and said, measure thou Second the time Edges. diligently in itself. Right? And dealing, and that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're watching, we're looking at things diligently, like real closely, you know, paying attention to a lot of key things, you know, like such as the how everything leading up to the MO to the TV, all roads lead, lead to the MO to the TV. So we're watching everything real circumspectly and diligently. Mm -hmm. You know, scratching the surface of these scriptures and letting you know how close we are to prophecy, you know, that's right. going into play. I got it. Mm -hmm. This is Matthew 24 and 32. It says, Now learn a parable of the fig tree. It says, When his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So what does that mean? The Lord is giving you an, an analogy. He's saying, look, when you see this, the, the, um, the, the, the the leaves coming back on the trees, when you're driving outside, when you're walking outside, that's all. what does that tell you? It's mm -hmm. telling you a season change. Mm -hmm. Also applies for the truth. Right, uh -huh. this this is a seasonal change that's getting ready to happen. Esau's being um, being um, um, positioned, coming out of power. We're being positioned to come into power. Mm -hmm. That's why Esau's all nervous. Right. Mm -hmm. It says verse thirty three. It says so. Likewise, ye when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. So that's why we come out with urgency to tell the people about what's going on, so you can fucking get off your ass and go to do the search that you need. Right? Yep. So you can possibly save your life if no, you can't save me. We can't save me. Yeah, how is Shai's only like say, but he, you you will be acknowledged at least for trying to grow closer to the left to the Lord. What did the Lord say? He said <clears throat> He said, Man, you know, um not you know. <laughs> he said <laughs> he said, Come he said, Come to me, I'm paraphrasing, but come to me ten times more. Mm -hmm. Right? Seek me more. Right, that's what the Lord. This delights the Lord, to, you know, to, to seek out information that could be built upon His foundation. He already set for us, man. And that key word you had said, so like for me, mm -hmm. you said urgency, and that means importance. Mm -hmm. You know, top priority. That's right. You know, that's why you come out with these things. It's a top priority to repent because, like you said, you know how Yahweh was shot. You know, he ready to come back and do his thing. Right. Verse 4, 34 says, "Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled." Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Mm -hmm. But as the days of Noah, right? Because remember, what was going on during the time of Noah? All right, he was prophesying for 100 years, almost, I think, over 100 years. And what was Jake doing? Mocking, scoffing, talking shit. Same thing Jake doing now. Mm -hmm. That's what the Lord said. He gave you that... You, you have that understanding of Noah's story, right? It's a very world-famous story. Okay. Not even just in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that story is used as an analogy for what's going to come. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Matthew 24 and uh, 37. It says, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of, of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. 
So that tells me that hey, the Lord is finna get ready to lay uh, lay plague or lay plagues on this place, which he's he stated many times in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go into the article. We just wanted to give that foundation, right? Because uh, the, the the thing that's going to be proceeding, we talk about persecution all the time. But listen, brothers, you're going to be put out there on Front Street like you've never been before. Mm -hmm. You're about to get called out by the entire world. You know what I'm saying? And you have to prepare for you. You have to prepare yourself to know that this is going to happen. You're going to be embarrassed. You're going to be mocked. You're going to be ridiculed. You got to know this is what's part of the truth. Yeah. Read, bro. Con. This right here is blacklisted news. All right. And it says Biden appoints social media censorship advocate to White House digital strategy team. Right. Keep going. All right. So, all right. Further into it, it says. If you're tired of censorship and surveillance, subscribe to Reclaim.net. Right, it says the Biden administration reinforces its ranks with what some reports see as yet more ardent censorship advocates. Right, send the word. Yeah, ardent. Ardent. All right. You can look at the word. All right, y'all about to um, y'all just, <laughs> just grab it right quick. Right. You no, know, for myself as well. That's how we learn, man. Yeah, kind. <laughs> Enthusiastic or passionate. Mm. All right. Mm. So that's key. All right. So. I'm just, I'm just plug it in as passionate. Right. The Biden administration reinforces its ranks with what some reports see as yet more passionate censorship advocates. Mm. This time it's Andy Volosky, whose claim to fame thus far has been to wholeheartedly support the banning of President Donald Trump by former Twitter while Trump was still president. Unsurprisingly, his effort, his other efforts are advocating for even stricter online censorship, mm. meaning what content moderation, content moderation. Let's look up that word. All right. We out here learning, brothers. Let's learn together. Right. Gone. <laughs> Let me see if we pull up. I might have to go to the phone. Um... Because what we're stressing is that the time that we're talking about is here. It says content moderation is the process of reviewing and monitoring user generated content on online platforms to ensure it meets certain guidelines <laughs> and standards. Right. Come on now. That <coughs> censorship. Mm -hmm. Who's the who's who's the person who gets to play God in this position, right? God. The so called white man gets to say your what you just said is misinformation, misinformation. Mm. But on the other hand, he's doing that all the time. God. <laughs> The, the rules are for thee, but not for me. Hmm. Right, As in, it says, I'm reading from the top again. Unsurprisingly, his eff his other efforts are advocating for even stricter online censorship content moderation mm -hmm. than what social platforms have been doing for most for almost a decade now. Ooh. It's pressure. That's pressure. why these articles are so important. You have to mm -hmm. listen. We source our we source our sources. We make sure that you know what I'm saying. This is legitimate. Uh, you know what I'm saying source of information. Also, what we're doing is we're telling you that the times that we're that we're describing that was in uh, Matthew 24 and 32 on down. She's telling that the Lord is getting ready to le level this place like this we ain't never seen. Hmm. What we're about to see, and we talk about this, but sometimes the Lord need to strike some of them niggas with dreams so yeah. they can see it. Matter of fact, go back to how that girl was. Right. And on uh, how she was talking about repentance and right. man, the bitch was shook. <laughs> <laughs> you notice how Esau is always on that repentance talk, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. really what he did, he trained he trained Jacob, you know what I'm saying, for the last three, four hundred years to forgive him for whatever. Mm -hmm. That's why you always see Jake uh, um hugging and hugging the, the, <laughs> the white bitch in the court, the fucking judge come out, you know what I mean? Nigga mm -hmm. woman come out of the judge hugging the bitch before she sentenced her. What the fuck? <laughs> Crazy shit, man. But that's the world we live in. Yeah, most definitely. Our people are so asleep at the wheel, they got to get shook with these nukes, man. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Right. It says, Volosky Velos has has now been given the right to serve this administration as deputy director of platforms for the White House Office of Digital Strategy. All right. So go to Isaiah 29 and 20. All right. Isaiah 29, verse 20. For the terrible one is brought to naught. Who's the terrible one? Esau. Go ahead, it says, and the scorner is consumed. Mm, he's always going in every look. This is what he's doing. What did it just say? He said, well, we're going to go through, what does content moderation mean? Mm -hmm. We're going to go through and scrub the internet of anything we don't like or does not make us, or does not meet our, our guidelines. What did read 20 again? 
For the terrible one is brought to naught. For the terrible one is brought to naught. And the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. That's right. That's what he's doing. He's watching for iniquity. Mm -hmm. All right. He's watching for iniquity. He's passing that on as a job called censorship czar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> for the White House. Mm -hmm. Right. And what does media mean? It means media. Yeah. They're the medium between the elites to the people. Yeah. Gone. Kind of. You know? Go ahead. It says that make a man an offender for a word mm -hmm. and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate. Read it again, brother. That make a man an offender for a word they and make a man an offender for a word. Huh? So they're going to they're going to make your word offensive mm -hmm. to the entire world. Yeah. They're gonna say what you're preaching is absolute hate and you must be stopped. Go mm -hmm. ahead. It says that make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate. This is that snare he's laying right now. Mm -hmm. That sensitive czar, he's going to lay all types of snares. Mm -hmm. He's going to uh, he hire the nigga woman. Oh, right? yeah. They're going to have both. They're going to have bot trolls, all right? uh, uh, troll farms. That's what Hillary Clinton did in 2016. Mm -hmm. All she did was hire troll farms and just fucking and steal laws. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, for real. And we're going to be faced with that pressure. Mm -hmm. Brothers, y'all got to understand, man. Look, the Lord the Lord has unleashed the devil on us. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a build. This is just a, this just a like build up. A, yeah, this is a build up before we can hop into this shit. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. And what? what we're going through right now with the channels, you know, censorship, this only, you know, brothers That's getting their shit clipped. That's just a small, small. Level. Yeah, it's small level. Because your face is going to be out there. Yeah. And big they, ass billboard. Right. And they're going to have the trial live on mm -hmm. YouTube. Yeah. And they're going to play all your videos, all your greatest hits from the last seven to eight years, <laughs> 15, how, no matter how long you've been. They got it all in the vault somewhere. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Chopped up, screwed, and everything. Yep. Ready to go. Just for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So go ahead, man. Go Con. stop at 21. Don't, don't, don't go past that. Come on. Read 21 back over. Isaiah 29, verse 21. That make a that make a man an offender for a word, uh -huh. and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate. That's right. There. Lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate. And what does the gate represent? It represents the leadership. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we're reproving the people. Go to uh, Isaiah thirteen and one. We're reproving the people, right, and telling them the way they should follow. But guess what? We're getting pushback. Mm -hmm. And that's fine because that's a part of the truth. But the pushback is going to be severe, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's going to be severe. So you got to. Like this is the time, like we in our grace period, that we got to build that nerve up. <laughs> yeah, got cool. to work that muscle. Yep. You can't be easily offended. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. You can't. You got to get over that shit. And hey, really, just that emotional spirit. That, that that's a female spirit. Thank you. You know, emotional spirit. What did the Lord say? I uh, I demand of you mm -hmm. good courage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I command. <laughs> But that's, damn near, that's damn near law. Right. Like a man be a good courage, cause boy, you might not, you might have to close them eyes for a little bit. Right. You know. <laughs> right. You might, have, you might see some things that ain't gonna, you know. Mm -hmm. Your flesh is gonna be like, Ugh. yeah. But your spirit is like, you know, like it says, the flesh is willing. I mean, uh, the the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Most definitely. You know. Mm -hmm. Um. Stop at twenty one. Uh, as you said, yeah, on that uh, Isaiah thirteen. Yeah, Isaiah thirteen. Yeah, start at the top. All right, Isaiah 13, verse 1. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Mm -hmm. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Uh, what's that high mountain, y'all? Mm -hmm. It's America. Yes, this sir. is that high mountain. Where's the banner? The Bible. Go ahead. Yep. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. <laughs> There's that word again. Mm -hmm. Until they, they can go into the gates of the nobles so that they can tell the nobles what is going on the ground. Mm -hmm. They're all they're doing the media or medium. Mm -hmm. All they're doing is reporting to the elite what's on the ground. The niggas is woke. <laughs> <laughs> niggas is about to, you know, they found out who they are. Mm -hmm. Now we got to come out. You, they're spending billions, trillions of dollars to keep this head mm -hmm. for a long while until they can finally come with their final, you know, solution. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Um, uh, verse three. I have sanctified my. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones from my anger, mm. even them that rejoice in my highness. Mm. Read it again. I have so like, um, Isaiah 13, verse 3. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones from my anger, mm. even them that rejoice in my highness. That's what we're doing. Mm. We're rejoicing in the highness of the Heavenly Father, but this is offensive to the world. 
Mm-hmm. Right? The Lord said that there's going to be there's going to be a separation. Right? Go to uh, Matthew 10, 22. Right? And because of that, matter of fact, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold that. Go to I uh Psalms 19 and 1. Start. <clears throat> Psalm 19 and 1. Um, and let me let me lay the, the ground the groundwork before you read it. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying because we are going to the highways and hedges, we're using this internet, this tool called the internet, and mm -hmm. it's pushing the world. Yep. It's pushing the, the message throughout the entire world, and that's making Esau as what he is now, nervous, he upset. Slacking, yeah. Go, go, go ahead. I was gonna say he, the internet. You know, hey, he thought it was gonna be beneficial, right? For him, whole time was a. Hey. It's always <laughs> for the truth. It's always for us. Can't do nothing against it before it. Ooh, go ahead. Isaiah 19, verse oh, 1. Psalms. Psalms. Like yeah. I said probably. <laughs> Psalms 19, verse 1. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, mm -hmm. right? The heavens declare the glory of Yahweh mm -hmm. by Shem Yahusha, and the firmament show of his handiwork. The firmament show his handiwork, which is the worldwide web. Go ahead. Day unto day utter of speech. Day unto day utter of speech. So you can go on YouTube, and if you are halfway across the world in another country, and we're speaking English, but you speak Chinese, all you gotta do is hit that little, that little, that little circle thing with the little spikes on the outside of it. The settings. Go in there, you can change the settings to Chinese. Mm. That's the tool the Heavenly Father used, and it's simple. <laughs> yeah. But He gets no credit for it. Mm -hmm. We giving it to Him. Go ahead. Come. Day unto day. Utter speech and night unto night show of knowledge. That's right, show of knowledge. Night unto night, you can go on YouTube or any other, you know, really YouTube's the main vehicle, obviously, right? So we're gonna just use YouTube for the uh for the you know for the sense, right? So basically, you can go on YouTube any right now is what 12 midnight shit. You can go on YouTube right now and watch a video right now before you go to bed. Then yeah. wake up in the in the morning and watch another video. You know what I'm saying? That's what it said. Night unto night, day unto day, utter speech. Uh, and it's beautiful because hey, you got you scattered throughout the whole corner, so you got brothers while it's night over here. Right, it's brothers got this day over there. Right, and you you will catch your brother going live. Right, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, verse uh, three: There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Woo, <laughs> that's heavy right there. Come on now, <laughs> come on now. Go to show you like no. Going back to the you know this gospel shall be preached about the folk comes of the earth. Right, then shall the end come. Like right. you're going to hear it. Right. Everybody has to hear it. So hold on. Jake is at work every day. Jake Jake work jobs every effing day. How the hell are we gonna travel uh, to uh, 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 North Korea yeah. or, or Hong Kong? How the hell are we gonna get there? You got no PTO for that. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the Lord gave us the work that all we needed. That's why the elders and apostles of Great Millstone always say, "Look, man, we have everything we need. We have a hundred percent truth." Mm -hmm. And people bug the fuck out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't have any faith. Mm -hmm. Don't even understand what they saying when he say it. Exactly, we, we have everything we need. Yep, right. Just and the, the, the spirit to match. Right. Go ahead. Verse four, at Psalm nineteen, verse four. Their line is gone out through all the earth, mm, read. and their words to the end of the world. Come on, that's the internet, man. That's the internet. Mm -hmm. This is a powerful tool the Lord has given unto us to uh, to to platform His word. Mm -hmm. That's what it was all about. But Esau. Now knowing that he created his own destruction, yeah, really, everywhere he went, his whole destruction was already laid down. The Lord gave him the blueprints of his own destruction. Man. Mm. That's crazy. That's, that's tough. That's crazy, son. Go ahead. It says, uh, verse four again. It says, "Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them have he set a tabernacle for the sun." So we're gonna stop right there. We're gonna go to uh we're gonna go to Jeremiah 50 and 43. Cause like we said, like the Lord said, we're gonna go into the gates of the noble, right? And we're gonna shake the hand and we're gonna exalt, uh, we're gonna exalt the high banner on the high, uh, against the high mountain. That's mm -hmm. what we're doing. Yep. We're exalting the the words, the power, the laws, the, the scriptures of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, man. These people are getting nervous, man. And now they're they're making us an offender for a word. That's what this self, this censorship is about. Mm -hmm. They're offended at the fact that we have the mm -hmm. balls to stand up for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. We well, say it's like a two-edged sword. Right. And we actually using our sword. Right. Uh Jeremiah 50, verse um 43. The king of Babylon have heard the report of them. Uh, read again. The king of Babylon have heard the report of them. The king of Babylon is the Edomites in today's world. All right, because you read up in that same chapter, Jeremiah is clearly talking to the new Babylon. He ain't talking about mm -hmm. that old. <laughs> when you read it, 
Yeah. So clearly he's talking about the new Babylon. Mm -hmm. So read that again. Jeremiah 50, verse 43. The king of Babylon have heard the report of them and his hands waxed feeble. Mm, so he's scared. Mm -hmm. Don't let that stupid smirk on his face, right? Fool you into thinking that he got a grasp of this. He don't. <laughs> <laughs> he don't. And he knows it. That's why we commend, we continue to mock him. Because mm -hmm. you don't know what you're doing. We know what you're doing, but mm -hmm. you don't know what you're yeah. doing. Nigga, you a controlled uh, uh, android. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you are a programmed android, bro. And when you've outlived your your usefulness, the Lord is going to take your ass out the way. Hmm. Go ahead. Respectfully. Yeah, respectfully. <laughs> Stop at 43. All right. The king of Babylon have heard the report of them and his hands. So I think the king, I think that was an ad. Go ahead. It says the king, it's like Jeremiah 50, verse 43. The king of Babylon have heard the report of them, and his hands waxed feeble. Yeah, so he got, he's scared. So these these Edomites, these elite Edomites, they know what's coming down the pipe ain't going to be good for them. They know this. That's why they're doing everything they can to try to fight what? Online censorship or bring online censorship. Mm. Right? The king of Babylon, no, this is the Bible tells on these people, man. You're not <laughs> you're not as smart or clever as you think you are. Mm -hmm. We're already on top of you, Esau. You're not going to get away with this. None of this. Come. You're gonna pay for all this shit. Alright? I think they say that on the 43. Oh. Uh, I'm uh, I got a little bit more mm -hmm. left on it. Yeah. It says anguish took hold took hold of him and pangs as of a woman in travail. <laughs> as a woman in travail, like mm -hmm. a bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what a bitch is in travail when she's <laughs> when, when the bills can't get paid. You ever seen a bitch just you know, lose it? Yeah. You ever seen a bitch have a nervous breakdown? That is the craziest shit ever, bro. I sit and watch a woman just sit. I guess because of his boyfriend or threatening or something. That bitch had a nervous breakdown. She just leave the door wide ass open and sit <laughs> on the front porch, bro, all every day. A crazy shit, bro. <laughs> That's what the Lord said to the elite of this society are going through right now. Mm -hmm. they, they're, they're sitting beside themselves with no answer. <laughs> <laughs> and they know it's happening. That's why they're attacking us. That's why I be telling brothers, like, look, man, don't, don't, do not think that they don't know who you are. Don't mm -hmm. think they won't set, you know what I mean? That's what uh, Isaiah 29 and 20 talks about. He's going to set, he's, the, 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 the terrible one is brought to nut, but he's going to try to set up you know what I'm saying? Go back to Isaiah 29, 20. Mm -hmm. 21, my bad. 21. Because, you know, I don't want to butcher. You know what I'm saying? You know, I want to be respectful to what the Lord is trying to tell us. Yes, sir. Isaiah 29, verse 21. That make a man an offender for a word. That make a man a, for an offender for a word. So you say words that, that are pertaining to the spirit of power of Yahweh, Shemel, Shai, the law, statutes, commandments. What are they going to do? They're going to send the, you know, the, the alphabet people at you. Mm -hmm. Lord, you're hateful. They're going to send yep. a black woman at you. You hate your mama. You're gonna, <laughs> they're going to send a white woman at you to try to you know, get with you. Mm -hmm. But then eventually do like Samson. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to peek. You got to... <laughs> You gotta pay attention to your surroundings. You can't just be trusting. You gotta, you don't see what this bitch angle is. You better, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know. And scriptures say be circumspect. Right. Be circumspect in mean, all be, things. Yup. Yup. Come. You know. You're so, looking around and give you giving real good judgment. Right. Come. Right. So come. what we're trying to do is prepare you brothers for what the inevitable is, which is you're gonna be persecuted. You're gonna be put on front street. Just accept it. <laughs> yep. It is what it is. At this point, we're too far in the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're in the fourth quarter, down 400,000 points, nigga. We need a miracle, man. And also expect for your people to give you up. Oh, man. That goes, man. Listen. That's, that's, <laughs> you uh, go to Matthew 22. I mean, 10 and 22, please. Matthew 10, verse 10 and 22. It's like Matthew 10, verse 22. It says, and ye shall be hated of all men. Read it again. And ye shall be hated of all men. For what reason? For my name's sake. <laughs> For my name's sake. Right? So everybody in this entire earth is going to hate you. And you saw popping it off with this censorship. Thank you. <laughs> hey, he's speaking that bullshit again. He saw it's very him. good at propaganda, mm -hmm. y'all. And kind of think about it, he'll prop it up to where he'll put your family position to where they got to rat you up. Right. So they not built. The scripture says, he hey, not wisdom and knowledge the stability of that right. times. <laughs> they don't got the oil. Right. You know? So they be like, yeah, his ass stay right down there. Yep. You know, third yep. popping on the left. Yep. Yep. You yep. know? And that's all we're trying to draw. Like, look, we're not trying to, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, 
we're, yes, we are. We're, yeah. we're, we're, yes, we're going to uh, uh, through, like we uh, brought out for our camp. You know, what I'm saying through okay. the spirit, through the, 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 you know, through the fear of you know, through the fear of the Lord, we persuade men. We persuade men. Okay. I'm trying to spit the word out. That is like shit. Um, what's the show? Beyond scared, straight. Right. <laughs> shit. Right. We show you some shit. Right. The Lord got some man. The Lord got some out. Hey, when it get dark out here, man. Oh my goodness. When all the lights are out, man, we gonna hear and see shit that we ain't never seen. Because we, we already got Edomites that are talking about friend every zoo. Oh, you know what I'm saying? They already talking about They don't understand that. They, <laughs> you look at a zoo and it's like, you really don't understand. Like, it's one inside every major city. Jumanji. Yep. And they had to move for no reason. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to tell you. They tell you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What I tell you. Mm-hmm. Then they made a reboot. Yeah. I just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get to check it out just yet. You know what I mean? Just to let you know that we, we, we the plan that. ain't changed. <laughs> the, the plan ain't changed. Man. Yeah. You know, go ahead. Uh, Matthew 10, verse 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, uh-huh. but he that endureth unto the end the shall same, be saved. The same shall be saved. Read it again. Come. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, uh-huh. but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. The same shall be saved. Read that again. Come. This is uh, <clears throat> Matthew 10 and 22. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I think yeah, like my bad, my bad. Yeah, I was just, yeah, sometimes Matthew, you know, he'll give it that, you know. This is Matthew 10 and 22. It says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. It says, But he that endureth unto the end shall be saved. That's right. Okay. Uh-huh. Read to a third. Uh, but he, but, it's like him. But when they persecute you in this city, flee you. Flee ye into another. That's a commandment. The Lord's telling you that, you know what I'm saying? We, got, we're, we are to be as um, pilgrims. Pilgrims upon earth. Right. Go ahead. It says, flee ye into another city. It's like, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, ye shall not, you sh- ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel mm. to the son of man be come. Yeah, to the son of man come. And that's who we waiting on who? Yahweh shall. Yahweh shall. Yahweh Shai is going to rectify every situation, mm. every problem we ever had with this devil, all rectified. Mm. All we're doing is playing out the clock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Prophesying. You know what I mean? Being actively, being brotherly. You know what I'm saying? These are things that are going to help our case in, uh, uh, when, when we present you know, to the Lord that oil. Mm. When he looks at our oil, he sees, okay, all right. Yeah, good bit in here, buddy. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you doubled, you doubled yeah. the prices. Yeah. Like, okay, all right, bro. You Come on in, my brother. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what did it say? Good and uh, wonderful right. servant? Yeah, yeah. You know? So, you know, go ahead. We can go back to our at some point. Okay, Matthew 10, verse 23. But when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel mm-hmm. till the Son of Man be come. That's right. Go to Revelation 2 and 10 for me, brother. Okay. Before we go back to the article, because all we're doing is laying the foundation as to Esau is not going to spare your life. He don't care. He don't care that you voted for Trump, nigga. He gonna lay you down. You are a threat to his system. You are a threat mm-hmm. to his empire. Mm-hmm. Your mere existence. Right. <laughs> for you to really say you going against the way he has said. Right. He's coming with you know. It's consequences behind that. Absolutely. You know, uh, Revelation two and ten. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Mm. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Read again. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Read it again. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. It three times me understand. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So guess what? <laughs> Fear none of those things. What? Which thou shalt thou shalt suffer. He read. Yeah. So like I will, I will say, oh my first yes. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Uh huh. That ye may be tried, and ye shall, and, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Mm. Be thou faithful unto death, uh-huh. and I will give thee a crown of life. That's what we're fighting for. We're fighting for the crown of life. Scripture says, "Let no man take thy crown." Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Getting offended for dumb shit, you let that man take your crown. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of addressing it as men, mm-hmm. right, or being brotherly, or being, you know, what I'm saying on one one accord, or trying to get to that, you mm-hmm. know, that destination. You said you letting another man take your crown, man. Mm-hmm. That's on you. Yup. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think that's it on that. Oh, no, no. Keep, keep reading. I think it's uh, stop. You stop at 12. Don't, don't read 12. 
Okay. Um, verse 11. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Okay. Uh, what's the second death? What's the second death? Oh, 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 my bad. It's like it, my bad. It's uh, World War III now. <laughs> the second death you know, is, is, uh, is the, the, the lake of fire. Yeah. Yep, kind, kind. That's and, and, and so like going back to verse 10, you know, the scriptures talk about how um, Romans 15 and 4, the things written before time were before our time of learning because we know persecution was coming. We know what happens when you don't when you go against the grain. Mm -hmm. You know, think about Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Mm -hmm. You know, that was in that, that was in the furnace tribulation. Mm -hmm. You know, but guess what? Like he said, hey, um, um, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. life. Right. You know, and then you won't be you won't be worried about the, the second death. You're yeah, good. kind, kind. You know, um, go back to Ark. Matter of fact, hey, even with the seven brothers, you know, they they, they told the you know, other Maccabee, they they laughed, they told his ass fast. Mm -hmm. I ain't testing that swine flesh. <laughs> like you gotta go ahead and kill me, bro. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> you know, but that's the spirit you you gonna have to be in because he coming with it, and it's all to really next level buck breaking. <laughs> That's Absolutely. all it is. Go ahead, bro. Um, it says uh, Velosky, right? Let's show you where I'm at. All right, Velosky has now been given the right to serve this administration as deputy director of platforms for the White House Office of Digital Strategy, mm -hmm. serving the people. Critically minded, how you say it? Sinks. C Y. Oh, so oh, shit. Uh, where I'm at? Where I'm at? Where I'm at? Critically minded cynics. Yeah. Cynics means like uh, someone who's, uh, if I had to come off the top of my head, like somebody who's uh, always critical but never comes with solutions. Mm -hmm. Still finna grab it too, as well. Yeah, like you just said, a person who believes that, it's like a person who believes that people are motivated purely by self interest. <laughs> a cynic. A person who believes that people are motivated purely by self-interest rather than acting the honorable or unselfish reasons. And they think everybody's like that. Mm -hmm. That's what they call a cynic, right? Mm -hmm. Like, let's give an example as to what's as an Israelite. If you want to meet another Israelite cynic, right, who mm -hmm. talks against his truth, he'll say, oh, these guys, or women, right, they'll just say, oh, you just want to sleep with a bunch of women. That's a cynic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or you guys ain't going to get no, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't finna get no keno. Y'all are tripping, man. You know what I'm saying? We finna be in America forever. That's a cynic. <laughs> you know what I mean? The Bible talks about them in uh, in uh, 2 Peter 3. We ain't got to get it, but go ahead. Con. So it says, serving the people critically, my, critically minded cynics might remark would probably require a different mindset and a different set of skills. Yeah, talking shit. Good. It says, but depending on how long the current administration manages to hang on to power, Velosky may not be in, not be on in the new job for long. Mm. So we're gonna stop it right there. We're gonna go back, and, uh, go back in the precept real quick. We're gonna probably get just one more. Well, we'll wrap, yeah, wrap, I yeah. think the point really been. Yeah, we nailed you. Yeah, <laughs> you know because also uh, I do want to add in, you know, with the censorship. You know, I always want to think about the phantom of the word. That's a prophecy. Amos eight. Amos eight. Yeah, you want to grab it? Or? Yeah, you can. All right, come. <clears throat> I knew at some point eventually we we're gonna get there. Yeah, we're gonna roll in. Yeah, 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 come. It's like you. Yeah, because um, we gotta finish off Revelation twelve and ten. Most definitely, Amos eight verse eleven. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine or of bread, nor a thirst for water, yep. but of hearing the words of the Lord. And that's coming soon. This censorship is going into that type of deal. And eventually they're going to say, you know what, let's shut the Internet up. Hmm. And that's what we brought out earlier. The unicorn. Mm -hmm. Isaiah, uh, Psalms 19. Yep. You know, it says. That I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. To go to show you how valuable these words are going to be in that day. Right? Because he give you the blueprint of what this man is about to do. Well, we're giving you the blueprint through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah of what this man is about to do and how to prepare mentally for it, spiritually for it. What did Noah do? He gave Noah the blueprint to build the ship the way he wanted to be built. Yeah. Right? right? Yeah. He gave him the blueprint. And what did Noah do? He executed, he executed it. Right, mm -hmm. same as any other the other the prophets, right? Mm -hmm. Gave them the blueprint, and what did they do? They ran with it. Mm -hmm. That's what it goes in the over um, Habakkuk. Uh, Habakkuk. Yep. Okay, 
uh, stand upon your watch. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I was in a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And we're here. Yahweh mm -hmm. Shemel Shai is here, man. The Lord is getting ready because he's getting closer and closer Ooh. to the earth, man. Yeah. Hey, Con, and that's like, you know, what the brother was, um, brother was already saying, like, hey, we already know soon to come. Elder Apostle Tar is going to give out that decree, like, hey, it's, it's, it's wild. Mm -hmm. Stay your ass where you at. Ain't no more teaching. Right. Ministry wrapped up. Right. You know, and that goes to show you, <laughs> you won't be able to, it'll be a family hearing the words of the, like, we won't be out there, you know, people be saying we out there just yelling it. You're going gonna to wish you heard them words. Mm. You know, Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability yeah, of our times. times. You know, strength and knowledge. I mean, strength and wisdom. Con. Verse 12, it says, And they shall wander from sea to sea, mm. and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. And won't find it. And shall, and shall, and, and shall not find it. <laughs> won't find it. And the heavy thing about it is, we own every block. You know, yeah. so we own all these platforms. Mm -hmm. You know, and the thing is, it goes to show you, um, going back to the unicorn, you know, how valuable the internet is. Right. This is the proper use for it, really. Right. You know, get the information you need to understand who your power is and get right. off that mother. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> but you right. know, we do, you know. Because you know, the Lord going to look out for this. Whoever the elect is, the Lord going to look out for you. Con, we gonna have an Ahab. We gonna have an Ahab, the harlot out here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a lot of them. 144,000. Yeah. Maybe 300,000. Wait. I don't know how the Lord they is. They waiting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it just goes to show you. How valuable the, you know the words uh, um the words of the Lord is gonna be so valuable in that day people are gonna be literally you know just trying to make make the internet work man right it keeps saying refresh you gotta keep refreshing you trying to get some type of answers because we know we heard them saying something but now shit they hit the fan now we need to know what they was talking about you know now it's trying to take now they want to take into consideration that's right but it'll be too late that's right you know because hey we go back to um Isaiah fifty five and six right quick I just want to bring this out right quick mm -hmm. um. Isaiah 55 and 6 It says uh, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found Call ye upon him while he is near Right and we're the what we're the voice box of the Lord right. So we pretty much about to, About your meter, meter, meter You know uh, yep. uh, That's the word I can get it but. Since the text testimony is going to it too mm -hmm. It talks about you know what I'm saying The, the Lord the voice of the Lord is going to call these devils out And the brightness of his coming mm -hmm. Which is Yahweh Shai Yup yup Kind of um so like I just finished it off, you know, seek you the Lord while he may be found and call you upon him while he is near. Because that was an indication letting you know that, hey, at some point in time, the Lord is going to pull back. Yep. It's game time. Yep. You know, whatever you have going inside this this time of, you know, trouble is what you have. Right. You know, right. case in point, um, you said you want to go back to, um, matter of fact, I ain't finished with the uh, Amos right quick. Amos ain't a lamb. It says, well, verse 12, they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Mm -hmm. Verse 13. And that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. Mm -hmm. They're going to be thirsting for this truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. What is it? Running to and fro. Can't find it. Like a chicken with the head cut off. It's just like you just seen a chick with a you know, really fat ass or something. You just, just seen her. Mm -hmm. You get around the corner. That bitch disappeared. Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> Damn, I was gonna get her. You she got saying? got. Right. <laughs> you know, it might be a, a mythical illusion. I don't know, it's just a joke. But we're gonna finish off in Revelation twelve and uh, ten. Con. Revelation twelve. Uh in verse ten. And I heard a it's like it, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. That is the end of his reign of terror. He makes this last accusation when he goes global, because he's going to go global. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That shit's going to be everywhere, bro. Everywhere. Your, all your information, everything. Everything about you, everything you ever said, hmm. it's going to be there. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to turn public opinion against you. But the crazy thing is, the Lord said that uh, those that were, you know all those lands you were made shame. I'm gonna make you famous. Hmm. <laughs> and that's why, and that, you know, and, and that's why we're in this time period of understanding of counting the cost. Right. You know, because and Jake, and you know Jake, that's sincere about this thing. I ain't really seeking no fame like that. Nah, nah. not at all, really. Nah, I'm Jake, taking the back seats. Right. Jake, you do what you're supposed to be. Like, like they ought to be saying, you know, keeping it simple. Right. Do the works, and that's it. Right. 
You know, be trying to play yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> trying to, you know what I'm saying? Get some power grab and shit, man. Trying to get for a position, man. That's not what this is here for. Mm -hmm. Bro, we all pushing in one direction, bro. Mm -hmm. Get the hell on. <laughs> <laughs> in one direction. We all looking for that penny, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, in order to gain that pity, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take some. You're going you to have to go to some time. Yes, sir. You know, let the Lord say, you know, the, the kingdom of heaven is when it shall come with much violence. You know? So, I mean, it's going to be battles out there. Go ahead. Come on. It says, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Day and night. So, he used the internet, too. <laughs> he, was, he was the internet too He like shit I'm finna accuse the hell out of you yeah. You know Photoshop all kind of they, shit Man listen bro They got man That AI shit man that shit's on, That's a game changer bro Yeah Now they got your voice Your words I seen that shit They had that shit rigged up To where it looked like It was Obama talking And Trump talking yeah. I said oh yeah They fucked up <laughs> It's over with Right right <laughs> Kinda, That was it on that um, Verse oh, Verse now Okay, and they and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. If it came to that, which we read in Revelation twelve and eleven, right? You know, what I'm saying, uh, hey, look, when they throw you in jail, you know, if that's your lot, right? If you're going, if they throw you in a concentration camp, you got to keep your faith until the end. Come on. and then also, hey, that's why I said things written before time were for our time of learning. In the book of Psalms, one was it one sixteen and fifteen? Yeah, I'll grab it right quick. You know, just to keep it, keep in mind. Right. You know, uh, Psalms 119, 116 is locking. Get to it, so I mean. And verse fifteen, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of His saints. Ooh. you know, so it's beautiful to go out for the Lord, man. You were standing on business until the end, right? You know, and guess when? In, 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 in is it? First Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, you know, the Lord said, "Hey, comfort each other with these words." That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, the dead gonna rise first. That's right. You know, you handle business, mm -hmm. right? So, um, kind of, um, verse, verse lamb again, Revelation twelve and the lamb, and they overcame him by the blood. Who's that? They, a hey, the elect. Right. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives That's unto the, the death. death. That's what it got to go to. That's what it is. Yeah. Read 12 and we'll finish off. Yes, sir. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Right. For the devil has come down to you having great wrath, because he knows that he had but a short time. Mm -hmm. And that's when he's starting up with the censorship. Right. <laughs> he knows that his time is short. <laughs> yep. So what is he doing? He's going to try to fight you directly on the internet. Mm -hmm. And eventually he's just going to turn the internet off. Come and he gonna come look for you. <laughs> right in the dark. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because they're strategically. That's why they have us like in, right here in Atlanta. They have the whole perimeter, which is 285. Yeah, but you better know 285 is like every access road. There's no in and out. Mm -mm. <laughs> You're within that perimeter. You ain't going nah, nowhere. It's easy, <laughs> especially with a car. Right, <laughs> you're done. Cause you got even if you get on seventy five or twenty, you still gotta hit say eight to twenty five at some point, and you better know they got that shit blocked off. A whole thing, and as you be seeing these little videos, these little clips, TikToks, you be seeing trains coming in with nothing but them little them RV shits, you know, military trucks and stuff That's like that. Georgia, yeah, I mean, yeah, thirty thousand caskets and shit. Yeah, out there in Madison, Georgia. Yeah, I, yeah, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I would, you know, you can finish off on that 12. Come on. Um, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens. Hey, we rejoicing. That's right. Is it? We're of the heavens. Yep. Come. Our mindset is not here on the earth. Our mindset is of the heavens. Mm -hmm. So we're rejoicing. Mm -hmm. It says, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come to for the devil is come down to you having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time. That's right. So he knows that his time is short and he's going to come with a ferocity. Listen, I'm 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 just telling you how like the Lord gave it to me, man. Like, look, <laughs> we're gonna see who is really, really about this. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's in me included, this brother, uh 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 uh, uh I'm a one. All the brothers that are listening to man, we all gonna be tested. This is the hour mm -hmm. of temptation we're going to go into. This is not a drill. This is absolutely real. And those of you that are of the elect, Lord willing, all of you that are, you know, saying that are sincere about this thing, and you boys, I mean, you brothers, like you brothers, are pushing this world, this truth, all right, in, in, in sincerity and truth. 
Hey, may the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, protect you. Uh -huh. And your and your offspring, if you have a lot of them, or if you have, you know what I'm saying? Or if you have a family that's dependent upon you. Mm -hmm. May the Heavenly Father protect them too. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're getting ready. And then <laughs> this, this, uh, this, this time when Esau just says, F it, a lot of Jake's <laughs> going to fold quick. Yep. And also, I always, you know, always, you know, say to myself, yeah, uh, no test equals no testimony. Mm -hmm. You know, so just know at the end, of the end while, you, while you receiving your crown, you really deserved it. You went through a whole test. That's right. You came out, you know, successful. Man, you got to get that. Second edges two, two and 35. Con, con. That, that, that. <laughs> Second edges two and 35. You know, because I knew if we talk long enough, if we talk long enough, eventually it's gonna somehow get. Oh yeah, kind of. That just, I mean, that just the thing is, like you said, you know, put it on on, on behalf of their testimony. Yeah. Um, Second Corinthians two, verse thirty-five: Be ready to the reward of the kingdom, mm. for the uh, for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. See, we're trying to give you the balance. See, mm -hmm. we're telling you about the doom and gloom and shit and the things that are getting ready to possibly happen to all of us, mm -hmm. or in some cases, some of us or most of us. We're giving you the doom and gloom, but there's a there's an outline mm -hmm. of what we're telling you. We're giving you the rainbow. The reward. Right, there's a rainbow at the end of this. Mm -hmm. Hey, the reward outweighs, the, you know, what we're trying to go through. Right. Right, and it's gonna be scary. I'm not sitting on the seat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be super scary. Say, <laughs> the legs are scarcely be saved. Right. Well, shit, look how Edris was. Right. Oh shit, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there in them times. Well, what were we reading? What now? was me? Con. <laughs> <laughs> the way he say, I committed them boys that right. still so stiffly put a name. I committed right. those men that still so stiffly put a name. That's right. So con, it says, um, Second Edges two and thirty five. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom, for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Mm. It's forevermore. It's going to shine on you forevermore. That is a promise directly from the heavens. Yahweh, by Shemel Shah, your father, and he's going to send his son to come down and execute the plan that he always had for us. We are going to overcome this devil, according to 2nd uh, Edges 6 and 7. We're going to pull him out of power by his foot. Mm. And that's what we're doing. What it said, the saints shall take the king. That's right. <laughs> you know, go ahead. Kind of, um. Keep going. I think that's it. That's it. All right. All right. So we we, we wrap it up. Mm -hmm. All right. So with that, you know, we want to always give uh, power, glory, honor, and respect unto our heavenly Father and His Son Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Rukakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Many blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect, the House of David, the Bayaf that would die for whom these epistles are written for in these last days. Shalom. Shalom.